Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint. Back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that culture for the street. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell, because we on our way to 100K subscribers. So this said man is about TTE Naughty addressing the viral video of him stealing from the store. And on this segment, when he first started off, it hurted him to his heart, but he apologized to all his internet ops, all his co-workers, OTM Zay, Terrence Gangster Williams, Say Cheese, Old Nan TV, the whole Texas, bootleg, well, he didn't say bootleg, Kev, but y'all know now they've been going on a rampage on these platforms, especially he showed his tail on no jumper. You feel me? Because I think that's probably was the hugest platform he's been on. But I guess the big dog over Pop Austin told him like he had to clean it up because out of all the employees, now they've been all over the place. Just keep it a band. Now they've been, he been out of his top. But what made him look crazy is because when you went on No Jumper and add our OG Percy saying that Adam don't interview him, he on meth, he might steal everything. See how that came back and bit him in the tail, bro? Because you were saying that OG Percy is the type of dude that'll steal all your equipment. But a couple of days later, not even a week later, it's visuals of you stealing out the liquor store. And what make it so bad, you said your baby mother was in the liquor store that night and she had two bottles of Patron. So, in so many words, your old lady got the money and you ain't got no money. Because if you had some paper, you would have been in line with your old lady, but instead you pulled a junkie move. Now, he said the night he was doing it, he was feeling good, which everybody know. It didn't take no rocket scientist to figure that out. And you trying to say that you don't do hard drugs, bruh, whatever you do is what you do. You know what I mean? I don't knock no man for what they do. Whatever whatever floats your boat, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. But that night right there, I know you wasn't on no weed to steal no, no alcohol from out no liquor store. You feel me? Now, I believe 100% that this nigga was going in the graveyard for real trying to rob niggas for their jury or whatever somebody throw in their casket. It's starting to make sense. It's starting to seem like not as one of them niggas that'll go to the graveyard for real and dig you up and take all your jury. But at the same time, he apologized. He took accountability, but that don't mean the internet gonna let you get away. Cause one thing we know about social media, once they get some receipts of you doing something flaw and you supposed to be holding yourself up to a certain image, they gonna drag you. Ain't nobody got no pics, you feel me? But on the real, the apology that he gave is worse then stealing out the liquor store because they hurt him to his heart to really apologize to everybody, bro. It really did. And if it's anything, I think you need to refund this old cat who you who you said this is liquor store, Mr. Johnny. I think you need to pay Mr. Johnny the bread back from stealing them fireballs, <laughs> which you was what you was reaching for behind the counter. I think you need to pay Mr. Johnny, bro. Now it's, a, it's some people was saying in the comments like, man, the man done apologize, so y'all need to leave him alone. But hey, we know plenty of smokers that apologize and turn around and be right back in your house the next day after they apologize. So we just got to see how this going to play out. But y'all drop a comment below and let me know how y'all feel about it. Now they apologize, man. I'm gone.